the Indiana Supreme Court held a hearing in the Delphi murders case. That hearing was based on a handful of important questions, including does defendant Richard Allen have the autonomy to choose his own attorneys? And did special judge Francis Gull overstep her authority when she kicked Allen's attorneys off the case? Today's arguments before the high court are just the latest twists in this increasingly complicated murder case. George Mallet covered today's high court hearing and joins us now in the studio with more on what happened today, George. Well, the murders of young Abigail Williams and Liberty German were shocking to tiny Delphi, Indiana, and ultimately really shocking to the entire nation. The girls' bodies were discovered near the Monon High Bridge Trail in Delphi, a town with fewer than 3,000 residents. That was in February of 2017. An extensive investigation followed and the case increasingly garnered national attention. Still, it was five years before Richard Allen was arrested and charged with the murders. The defendant has remained in the headlines post-arrest because of various legal maneuvers and changes in where he's been jailed. Now, last year, Special Judge Francis Gull, who was appointed by the Supreme Court to handle the case, formally removed Allen's public defenders, Brad Rosie and Andrew Baldwin, from the case, calling the pair grossly negligent. That was after crime scene images in their possession ended up on the Internet and in TV newsrooms. Today, Mark Lehman, representing Allen, asked that Rosie and Baldwin be returned to the case. He quoted a letter from Allen in which Allen laments the removal of his attorneys. I do not want this to happen. I want Mr. Baldwin and Mr. Rosie to continue to represent me until this case is resolved one way or the other. Well, the high court moved very quickly on this one. Part of the request was, after all, for a speedy trial. Allen will get his original attorneys back on the case. Judge Gull, however, who was appointed by the high court, remains in charge, overseeing the attorneys she termed grossly negligent. Allen's attorneys wanted her gone, saying she was biased against them. And as we speak right now, the case remains on the docket for October. All right. Thank you, George. George Mallet tonight with the latest on the Delphi murders case.